Hello, Platt. Uh, this is Dr. Bardo, and uh, what I want to show you today is a little walkthrough about how to get your robot uh, to uh, avoid the walls, uh, at least one way. Uh, there are a lot of ways. Um, this isn't necessarily the best way, but I think it's it's kind of easy to understand and uh, uses um, some pretty simple math. So imagine that this is your uh, robot uh, battlefield. Uh, the idea is this. Let's we make a little buffer area. Okay. From each wall. So So those, those are the buffer areas there. And what we want to do is that if our robot is heading into one of those buffer areas, um, say this way, um, that what, what it, once it gets into that buffer area, it will turn out. The problem is, is that sometimes, if we were uh, coming in from this direction, and we asked it to turn out this way, it's got a high likelihood of hitting the wall. So when we we have to do two kinds of detection, we have to detect when uh, when the robot's in one of these buffer areas, and then we have to detect which way it's going. And depending on which way it's going, uh, we want to make the turn go either left or to the right. So let's uh, take a look at how that's done in Eclipse. So I'm going to choose my robots package. I'm going to make a new robot. Uh, I'll call him Avoid. avoid the wall. I'm not going to use walls because uh, that would be confusing with the robot. And I'm going to extend advanced robot. Because I want to do some turning and moving at the same time. So, um, Let's just get into the public void run method. Uh, we're going to need some basic information here. We're going to need uh, the width. So we'll get the width. We'll get the height. Uh, and we'll set a a constant here. Final. So final means that it's going to be a constant. Uh, what should we call it? Uh, so constants should be all caps. To give some, uh, so some percentage of the screen that's going to be uh, the buffer. OK? Uh, and so oh, I misspelled height. And I had the caps lock on. OK. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I have a, enough, I want to have 20, at least 20% 20 of, of whichever one of these numbers is bigger to be my uh, buffer. So I'll make a double called buffer, which is equal to my percent buffer. 
I might decide later that it might be I might need less buffer, less than 20%. And I'm going to use this math class. So this is a class. It has lots of um, methods uh, that could be useful to us. And uh, particularly, there's one here, max. So it, this is a nice way to pick the biggest number. So I'm going to pick 20% of whatever's bigger, the height or the width. And what's nice about this, rather than using 800 and 600, which are probably our width and our height right now, is that this will this will work even if somebody comes along and changes the battlefield size. All right. So the next thing I need to do is find out where we're at. So I'm going to find my, out my X position. and my Y position. Now we'll go into a while true loop. And let's just say if uh, if the Y position is bigger than the buffer. And I think this means that I'm too close to the bottom. I think that's what that means. Uh, I might do a system out print ln too close to the bottom. This will help me later when I'm debugging. And so if that's true, if I'm too close to the bottom, I need to decide uh, if, if I'm going that way or if I'm going that way, if I'm going to the right or if I'm going to the left. So the way, the way um, RoboCode thinks about things, this is 0, this is 90, this is 180. Um, so basically what I'm interested in here is if my heading is less than 180, I should turn uh, to, let's see, I'm facing this way, so this is a turn to the left. So I want to go left that way, and I want to go right that if I'm more than 180. So we will um, go back to Eclipse. We say if this get heading is greater than 180 or less than 180, set uh, this set turn set turn left 90. 90 is enough degrees to get us so that we're um, at least parallel to our buffer line. And if that isn't going on, we should turn the other way. Let's just say this set ahead uh, ten. So I'm so I am moving forward. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run this now, just to check how um, how what I've done so far works, because it might not work.
There's my avoid the ro wall robot, and I'll put in sitting duck. And hopefully he'll go low. I might restart the battle a couple times until he starts out low or goes low. Oh, no good. Mm, disabled's bad. My computer freezing's bad. see what I did wrong. I didn't have an execute method. Which means that I gave a lot of commands. I told it to do a lot of stuff, but it never did anything. There's always little mistakes. So I'm going to run it again. It didn't look very good because I was near the top and uh, it was saying that I was near the bottom, which means I probably didn't do this right. See, he's saying, I'm too close to the bottom, I'm too close to the bottom. You're not too close to the bottom, you're too close to the top. So that means that zero is probably the top. So uh, let's stop this, go back to Robocone change this to top, change this to top, and then I have to go back over here and sort of be like, oh, wait a minute, what's the, what's the dividing line up here? Well, the dividing line up here is zero, so if I am between zero and 90, I want to turn to the right, and if I'm between uh, 270 and 360, I should turn to the left. So I think it's going to be easiest to check if I'm greater than. Uh, I, I could do it either way. I could. So we want to say if I'm less than 90, I should turn to the right. And if I'm more than 90, otherwise turn to the left. Save that. Go back to RoboCode. Start a new battle. Okay, let's just restart. So, He's saying he's too close to the top. A lot of the time. So that's a problem. So let's...
see what the buffer is. And let's see what... Mm, I see what the problem is. I needed to have these things in my while loop because I need to check all the time whether I'm starting off too close to the top or not. Let's give that a go. Still reporting it all the time. So I want to see what uh, what my position is and what the buffer is as I as I run my my bot to try and figure out what's the, what's going on here. And I can slow it down. I didn't want this to be greater than, I wanted it to be less than. It's that kind of thing. Alright. So it looks like it was the bottom. And I should change this back to 180. Change this back to left. Change this back to right. So, yep, as he's moving up here, he's getting closer and closer to big, so that's good. I want one where he is headed to hit the bottom wall. You could see he was low there and he was turning, so that was good. Here he is, he's low, he's turning out. <coughs> and you can see we have one other problem here. See if we can get another one where this happens. So he keeps turning even even after he has I don't know why he turned that way. See he was turning he turned for a lot longer um, than he needed to. So I want him to stop turning when he um, is not in one of these buffer zones. So what I'm going to put in here is um, at the end of this if, if I'm going to put an else. And I'm going to say this set turn right 0. And this set turn left zero. And what this will do is make him straighten out uh, once he's not in one of the buffer zones. So let's run that and see what that looks like. Oh, gotta get him to go be in one of the buffer zones. Okay, this is this is the best. Oh, see, he turned exactly the right way, and then when he got out, he started going straight. So that's perfect. All right. Um, 
let's put one more in. So now I want to only do do this if he's not in too close to the bottom. Let's say he's too close to the top. So that's if y position is greater than uh, the height minus the buffer. And then we talked before about how the problem the problem here is if uh, if the heading is less than 90 I should set this set turn right 90 and else this set turn left 90. And I still have this else at the bottom. That's the last case scenario. Because there's, there's basically going to be five sections here. If I'm too close to the bottom, if I'm too close to the top, You can see, as I was having all those problems, how much just this too close to the bottom line really helped me out. Um, it really told me I had things going wrong that were wrong because you know, I wasn't too close to the bottom and I was saying that I was. So it's, when you're trying something new here, it's really good to think about what kind of uh, of um, reporting would be helpful to you to make sure that you uh, can know what's going on. So I highly recommend the system out print. So let's restart and see if we can get him to be too close to the top. Oh, he's too close to the top and he's doing something wacky. Um, so that's not good. Okay, let's stop that and go back through and see what's going on. So I am confused, and I, it has something to do, I think, with the heading. So I'm going to have it tell me what the heading is when I'm too close to the top. So I can figure out, maybe I've... So it looked like there was some good stuff near the beginning here. Too close to the top. I'm going to have to try again. Well, maybe that wasn't so bad. All right. Oh, I think I do know what the matter was. So it is, it's turning the way I want. The problem is when it starts in one of those buffer zones, it gets kind of wackadoodle. And the reason is there, it can start in a buffer zone and its heading could be okay, could be headed out of the buffer zone, but because I have an else um, in my if statement, it's uh, it's not liking that. So I think I really only want to turn 
here at the bottom, I only want to turn, this is 180, I only want to turn left if I'm between 180 and 90, and I only want to turn right if I'm between 180 and 270. So I'm going to turn this into an AND statement. And I'm going to turn this into an else if. And this time it needs to be less than 270 and more than 180. And I'm going to need to do this kind of thing all the time. So down here, if it's less than 90 and more than 0. Which it probably is. Uh, and down here, else if it's less than 360, which it probably is, and more than 270. So let's restart that. He started out too close to the wall, and he turned really nicely. So, and now we can speed it up a little bit. And you see, he just sort of turns, goes back. It'll be fine until he gets into that little, until he hits that wall, and then it won't be so fine. I hope that helps, uh, and I'll talk to you soon.